some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we follow a frauder that goes by the name of Hillsboro Highlights as he ends up getting trespassed and removed from a post office and, well, gets completely butthurt over the trespassing. Well, guess what, dude? It was your own, your own damn fault, so deal with it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this friggin' S show on the road, shall we? This Hillsboro Highlights out here with you for another video. We're out here in front of a UPS to see if they respect our rights to report in a public building. That's USPS, not UPS. There's the United States Postal Service and the United Parcel Service. Two completely different entities, but I'm sure you uh, could figure that out on your own, right? Probably not. I'm sure there's some frauders out there that couldn't tell the difference between the brown trucks and the white trucks. I do have my press pass, as you saw in the other UPS video. Oh my goodness, we've got a real brainiac on our hands, don't we? Using a Daily Planet press pass. I mean, good freaking grief. How old are you? Five, six years old? I'm only asking because a lot of frauditors seem to have an IQ range that seems to fit within that uh, age range. And I'm talking about the lower end because there's a lot of six-year-olds that are very much a lot smarter than the, some of the frauditors that I know. And along with the lower level IQ of these frauditors, they tend to have a selective reading ability. In other words, they only select uh, parts of a paragraph that they want to read and leave out the others that they don't. It's called cherry picking. And I'm sure that's what this frauditor is going to try to do here with poster seven. Right there. Stay out of everybody's way right now. Boring. Hey man, go on. Do it. Do it and I'll show the police. Do it. Now you're definitely going on YouTube. Oh yeah. Following him around and everything like that to try to cause a uh, reaction. I believe that would fall under the disturbances portion of Poster 7 at this point. I mean, it's understandable if you would want to film the uh, employees like you claim it's your right to do so. But at this point, yeah, it might as well be falling under disturbances. So congratulations, dumbass. You just gave them a reason to kick you out. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna follow him to his car just so I can get his plates. <laughs> okay, so they just. So they just called the police on me for uh,
It just called the police on me because I'm actively recording. Actually, that's my first amendment, right? Yeah, and if you would have actually taken the time to re actually read the damn complete paragraph rather than cherry picking, yeah, you might understand that uh, you require the uh, permission of the postmaster or installation head to do so in that building, you dumb pile of crap. So he just called the, the gentleman just called the police, the guy who uh, made the gesture to uh, assault me. This is such a crock of shit. So, uh, yeah, I got his name, but I don't know what he's driving. Cops are just shut up. And here we see the frauditor trying to weed out corruption within the post office. In fact, I think he may have just spotted it on his camera and he is not aware of it just yet. Let's zoom in on it and see what the corruption here is, what it's all about. Oh wait, oh my goodness, what's that dolly doing over there? It shouldn't be out here, those Damn dirty postal workers always trying to keep the dollies out in the lobby for all to see. Damn you, United States Postal Service! You've all condemned us to hell! What the fuck? <laughs> Later, in the void. Your name and badge number. Pardon me? Name and badge number. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, there's the right here, is that what you tell a judge? Pardon me? Is that what you tell a judge? Right here? Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just point to it and I'm gonna repeat it for you. Last name Lewis. And the ABN is two three four one four six. We don't have badge numbers. Okay. How are you doing today? Been alright. Make it alright during the hurricane. Couple shingles, lost electricity, that's it. Yeah, me too. Actually no shingles. Lost a lot of trees. Yeah. Got power well, back though. How about you? Did you power back? Luckily. Luckily I did. Yeah, there's no solicitating in the post office. I'm not soliciting. All right, so United States Postal Service, which is right behind you, says rules and regulations governing the post office. I am legally allowed to record inside postal property. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. It's right behind you, right there. But this is also postal property, which you can be trespassed from. And at this time, this gentleman is the, the branch manager, and he would like you trespassed. You can do this from the parking lot without a problem, but you can't be on private property at this time. Yeah, this you should do it. This uh, public not property. On the, this belongs to us all the way. See, from the red thing all the way to the other red is ours. So you can't even do that. So you're depriving me of my rights on public property. This is actually federal property because it's the post. Then it's public system. property. It's Just because it may be public property doesn't mean you can't be trespassed from it. You need to look at all the other frauditor videos that have come before you and realize that you might be effing up right here. But I guess just like any other frauditor, you fail to do your research or even uh, 
look at the uh, nuances of everything that you think you know. Which brings us to this very moment in time where you think you know the law, but you're just going to end up doing a face plant anyway. Private property, sir. So you're not going to honor your oath to the Constitution? Sir, this is private property. At this time, you are being trespassed from this property. If you do not leave, you will be arrested for trespass after warning. We are not trying to What's do your that. name and badge number? Sanderson 258022. I already got his. Just you know, there's a gentleman in here with wearing a green shirt, bald head, about six foot, who physically made a motion to actually punch me in the stomach, which he's not going to tell you, but I have it on video. Ah, I cry like Snoopy. Ah! The man's not here. He's over in Big Lots. Okay. I didn't go into big lots because I know I'm not going to chase him, but he's over there in big lots right now. That's what he's not going to tell you. Did you call us? I did not call you. Okay. He, I guarantee you he did because I got in on camera that he called you. That guy called us? Mm-hmm. For what? Because I'm exercising my rights on, on well, postal property. Yeah, go ahead and play that victim card when you were the one that instigated the whole situation to begin with and that man never even touched you he may have charged your way a little bit but that's not exactly assault right there i mean right now it sounds like you got your feel feels hurt and your feel feels are about to be even more hurt when they make you leave this property so congratulations dude you're a little bitch right to say that you can't be here because he has nothing to do with this property he's just a customer he's triggered because i'm recording him in public that's why you're allowed to record in public, but this right here is their property. It's, this is private property owned by the federal government. Postal property is government property, which means it's public property, Sanderson. 258022. Stupid fuck. Oh, poor Will Flauditor. He's all butthurt because, well, he didn't know the law. Maybe you should grow up and actually study the law and realize that you can be trespassed from just about any property, no matter if it's public, private, or whatever, dude. I mean, it happens. And you just learned that lesson the hard way. But in reality, I don't think you actually learned it. In fact, you seem more like a whiny, butthurt little Bitch all together, dude. So I'm going to give you a special prize at the end of this video, okay? So here you cannot be, but you can be in the parking lot, you can be on the sidewalk, but you can't be here as long as you right now you are trespassed. So do you understand that, sir? All right. If I don't leave, I'll be arrested now. It's fine. Okay, so you are leaving, so understand to come back to this property. Blah, blah, blah. Honor your oath. So, all right. Since now I'm on public property, see, see what they got. Yeah, no, their window tent's dark as shit. My window tent's not as dark, so yeah, they got a legal window tent. Protect and serve my ass. But silly little frauditor, they are there to protect and serve the general public, not to exclusively kiss your pathetic little ass. They received a nuisance call and they took care of it. If you got your little feelings hurt, then... That's your own damn fault. Now I'll give you a little consolation prize because you're so butthurt about this whole situation. So here's a tube of BHK's butthurt cream, Elves formula. Now it's not exactly guaranteed to cure every pain in your ass, especially self-inflicted ones like this. But hey, you might as well go ahead and give it sh a shot. But uh, fair warning, though, the elves put something interesting in it, so therefore the uh, butt hurt cream may have some undesired effects to it. So just go ahead and uh, call 1-800-KISS-MY-ASS if you have any, uh, well, rather negative results from the application of this particular formula. So good luck with that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?